Uh, okay, everyone all right? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for coming. Um, well, I was sworn in on Monday of this week uh, and obviously the Prime Minister and I attended the Quad meeting in Tokyo. Uh, left, we left immediately after the swearing in, got back to Australia and I came straight to Fiji. And I wanted to come here because it was important to underline and, re and emphasise the importance of our Vivale partnership the importance of the Pacific family uh, and to underscore uh, for that for the new government, our relationship with this region and uh, your relationship with us matters. Uh, it is a new government in Australia um, and our message to the Pacific is clear. You know, we're listening and we've heard you. And one of the uh, areas in which the new government is determined to make a difference is on climate. Uh, I'm very pleased that the so many Australians voted for stronger action on climate. Uh, and I recognise uh, that that has been something Fiji and other Pacific Island nations have been saying for many years. I remember when I was Minister for Climate Change between 2007 and 2010, that the voices of the Pacific was, were so strong and so authentic and spoke with so much power because for you, climate change isn't abstract. It's not a political argument, it's real. Uh, so we have uh, put on the table as the new government uh, a much stronger policy on climate change. Uh, uh, not only uh, the net zero emissions by 2050, but a strong uh, 2030 target of 43% reduction, uh, which will lead to the majority of Australia's energy and its uh, electricity grid being uh, renewables, around 82% renewables by the end of this decade. So that's a good thing. Uh, we've also put a range of other policies on the table uh, for the Pacific, which are about recognising that we, we want to build stronger relationships, stronger links. So reforms to the Pacific Labor Mobility Schemes, uh, uh, additional infrastructure funding, uh, as, as well as uh, additional ODA. So these are all part of our suite of policies. Uh, but the, which we can talk through in detail uh, with governments of the region uh, in, in terms of implementing them. But un what is at the heart of this uh, is a strong desire to, to play our part in the Pacific family and to build stronger relationships. Uh, so I'm happy to take questions now uh, on an, um, the issues that people want me to address. Um, Minister Wong, Lee from the ABC. My question is with regards to a difference maybe in the foreign policy of Australia with regards to how you work with specifically the government of Fiji. Can you tell us about some of the changes, if any, to the way uh, your administration is going to work with the Fijian government, some of the focus areas that you're going to be uh, relying on, but also more importantly, uh, what was the result of your bilaterals with the Prime Minister and with the Attorney General? Oh, well, look, I, I do want to say in terms of the program first, can I talk about that? I actually haven't met the Prime Minister yet. I think I'm doing that uh, later today. Um, I met with the Attorney General. Uh, obviously, I met with Secretary General Puna. Uh, and I met with some Pacific workers uh, this morning. I think it was this morning. Everything's blurring into one. Uh, and talked to them about uh, the opportunities that they have under the current scheme, but also how we might build on them. Uh, so you talk about what are the differences. Look, a lot of a lot of the the, the ballast in the relationship is bipartisan, uh, and there you go. Uh, a lot of the you know, I, I came to the Pacific a number of times with Julie Bishop when she was in when they were in government, and one of the reasons I said to her we should do this together is because I do believe in bipartisanship wherever you can, and uh, that we could say together as the minister and the shadow minister, regardless of who's in government. You know, your, our relationship, Australia's relationship with your nation matters. But there are some differences. Uh, and the, the two ones that I would go to are climate and also the Pacific schemes. So we, we obviously want to do more with the Pacific Labor schemes. Uh, we want people to be able to bring their families with a longer term visa. We have a Pacific engagement visa, which would allow permanent residency that we want to put in place. Uh, and of course on climate. Uh, regrettably, the previous government for nine years uh, we have a lost decade on climate action. We're determined to make up for it. Anyone else? I'm Reverend Akinam Chisaka from Fiji Sun. And you mentioned this morning that those who will be on longer contracts, just yes. on workers, more than six months, will be able to take their family over. 
Uh, it's uh, so for the, the longer term visa, which I think is up to four years. Uh, and look, this comes out of uh, actually our engagement with workers on the the current program. That people were saying, you know, there there were a lot of benefits for them, but it was pretty hard to leave their family for that long. So, as part of our announcement, we said we would allow people on the longer visa to bring their families. We've obviously got to work through the details of that, uh, including with the providers and with your government. But we will do that. I think it's a good idea. So. Of a Pacific solidarity and the need for all Pacific nations to come together. Yes. At this point, the Micronesians are not really that happy with after the appointment of uh, Mr. Puna, although he's very capable. Very mm. capable. Mm. Australia did vote for Mr. Puna. How, how well, look, are you proposing or thinking about solidifying the Pacific? Well, ultimately, uh, yeah, the, the unity of the Pacific Island Forum is, is in the hands of Pacific Island Forum members uh, and uh, to find a way through uh, to that unity is, uh, would I think benefit the Forum and all of its members. Uh, I think it would benefit uh, the region, particularly at a time where there are a lot of challenges, COVID, climate, obviously you know, the strategic circumstances that in, the, in which we live in this world. Uh, so I would encourage forum members to work together to find a path to unity. Certainly, you know, it's not for me to tell people what to do. It's a, it's a decision for the Pacific Island Forum members, but uh, we, we would encourage a path to unity. And Secretary General Puna and I spoke about that. Yeah. Um, Madam, uh, yeah, the timing of your trip to Fiji coincides coincide with the trip of the, Chai, yeah. the Chinese Foreign Minister. Was it a planned trip? Could no. Could a week or two? Or was it? No, I was very keen. Uh, to come to the Pacific as soon as I became Foreign Minister. Uh, and this is my first bilateral visit. I was a few days late because I had to go to Tokyo, but you'll forgive that, I'm sure. So this was always in the plan and not reactive to the announcement? No, no, I, I mean, we, we've been, look, I don't know how much you watch Australian elections. You probably don't, it's not that interesting, is it? But uh, uh, we, we did a lot of work on Pacific policy uh, and we, we, we thought when we did it we, we'd have an announcement that you know, it would probably get picked up here and in the Pacific press, but it became quite a big part of uh, our foreign policy uh, during the election. Uh, we understand how important this is uh, and we understand that Australia has more to do uh, and we wanted to, to put out there the things that we wanted to do. And one of the things I wanted to do was to have a Pacific trip as my first trip and Fiji is a very important partner. You know, we have a Vivale partnership. Um, excuse me. <coughs> uh, and uh, you're the chair of the PIF. So we, we thought it was appropriate. Madam, there's been some criticism of previous Australian administrations. Uh, uh, the accusation is they've relaxed some of their stands on democracy, on human rights, in order to keep Chinese influence away uh, from Fiji in particular. Is this, uh, what is your reaction to this? What is your stance? Well, I'm not sure what you're referring to. Uh, I'd just say as a general principle, obviously we have values, they define who we are. They are universal principles that Australia will always assert. Uh, we also recognise uh, you know, it's not for us to tell every country how to behave. We recognise that we're not perfect. So, you know, our view is you, you, you try to adhere to universal principles uh, and you also try and work respectfully with other nations. Is the new Australian government concerned about China's growing influence in the Pacific? Uh, they've been uh, helping us economically and through developments, but they have now sh slowly shifted to security. Yeah, look, it's for Pacific nations to make their own decisions about you know, uh, who they want to partner with and in which, in which areas, and we respect that. Uh, we want to be a partner of choice, we want to demonstrate to, to y your nation and, and other nations of the region that we uh, are a partner who can be trusted, who can be reliable, and historically we have been. I think you've seen a lot of Australian development assistance. We want to work with you on your priorities. Uh, we want to work together as part of the Pacific family. Uh, obviously we've expressed our concerns publicly about the, the security agreement between Solomon Islands and China. And the reason we have is we, we think there are, as do other Pacific nations, we think there are consequences. Uh, we think that uh, it's important that the security of the region be determined by the region. Uh, and historically that has been the case and we think that's a good thing. You mentioned last night that the region is faced with a triple threat. You mentioned COVID, climate and a strategic context. Mm. Would you be able to clarify, give specific examples? Well, I, I think we all know that, uh, that the world has changed, that 
uh, you know, global, there's a lot more strategic competition, there's a lot more uh, disruption of international norms. The, the Russian invasion of Ukraine is a de demonstration of that. And you know, we all have to find our way through that and we, we hope to find our way through that with you. Did you uh, also? Recently, madam, it was highlighted for 3,000 Pacific Islanders to be granted their permanent per residence. Per yeah, Pacific Russia. Engagement Visa. So how will uh, they be chosen and uh, when will they start? Yeah, so, so that is uh, one of the policies we, we announced during the election campaign. It's modelled actually on the uh, New Zealand visa, which I think people would be familiar with. We've got a work through with uh, our department and with your governments, uh, how that will work how to make sure it, we maximise the positive benefit and manage any of the downsides. So we'll do that and I'll make those announcements in due course. Madam, can you talk to us about some of your okay. agricultural exports, market access for some Fijian <laughs> agricultural exports, which our government has been asking for for a couple of years? Where is that in your list of uh, Well, I, well it, I, I can tell you that I think the Carver um, export issue has been resolved, I understand. So that's a good thing because when I was last engaging with your government in opposition, that was an issue which was raised with me. So I'm pleased that's the case. But look. Give everyone a chance. Can we also have Fiji Live and uh, My TV, please? She'll ask. Sorry. Um, Fiji will be having its own elections. Huh? Um, uh, will be Sometime before, what right. is it, the 9th of January or something? Yeah. Uh, would um, just wonder if, if the Australian government support initiative that it has announced, uh, will it remain intact? Even if the government, Fijian government changes, the, oh, the, the, the the government of Fiji is a matter for the people of Fiji. We 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 yeah we we obviously are. Uh, I'll be very pleased to meet with the Prime Minister later, and he's obviously been a great friend of Australia's. Uh, but ultimately, uh, we deal with your nation. Did anyone else? Probably a last question. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, sorry. Do you have you had discussions around um, assistance towards Fiji's 2022 uh, general elections? As coming uh, no, we haven't. We haven't been. Uh, it, that hasn't been sought, as far as I'm aware. Uh, but obviously, we, uh, you know, we're always happy to assist if people wish wish us to. Just one final question. One yeah. Question. Um, Australian academics have said. Um, uh, which ones? This is this is always interesting when yeah, uh, people we'll start a question with academics. Have said. the new government to stop uh, a, the colonist attitude. When, uh, dealing with the Pacific well, I can tell you, I was born in Malaysia and my grandmother was a servant to the British. So I have a very, very personal understanding of what you're talking about and I, I hope I will not speak to you in that way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.